Hello everyone. So in today's session, I'm going to tell you about NLP and how it can be implemented in picture box. We all know NLP, that is natural language processing, is a domain of artificial intelligence in which the human and uh, machine can interact in their natural language. And the NLP is actually consist of two parts, that is natural language understanding and natural language generation. So what it will do, first of all, whatever we speak or whatever the machine hear, first of all, it analyze it and then take the action accordingly. And finally, it respond to you. So let's see how we can do this in picture blocks. So let me share my screen. So first of all, let me show you what exactly I want to create. Just click on the green flag. Now here, uh, this ball is actually acting like a bulb over here and it will take the action according to the, uh, you know, the message that I will give it to it, right? For example, uh, right now it is showing that the light is on. Fine. And if I give a message off, then it will, uh, the Toby will say off and uh, the color of this ball is changing, which is actually denoting the bulb over here. Right. Now let's run it once again. And this time my Toby will say on. So it is giving a message lights on and the color has changed to yellow. Uh, let's try it in another way because uh, there are a number of ways in which the human communicate. The same thing can be uh, said in different ways. Now, for example, instead of saying off and on, I want to say, I want to sleep. So it means the lights should be off and the color has changed. I'll just run it once again. And this time I want to give a message. I want to study. So it means the light should be on and the color has changed to yellow. Right. So this actually I want to do in which I'm giving the command in my own natural language. Now let's see how we can do this in picture blocks. Now the first important thing is I need to add an extension. So again, I will go to the bottom left corner and here I will add the extension natural language processing, right? So this I have already added in my project. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to train my model. Okay, I need to tell my model ki what are the different kinds of text on which the light should be on or what is a different kind of... Uh, you know, commands or the text on which the light should be switched on, right? So for this purpose, I will go to my blocks and here I will create a block by clicking on make a block. So you can write down the name of your block over here. So I have already created three blocks over here, data for lights off, data for lights on and train data. So this is a kind of data on which I will train my model. Okay, so the AI performs in a way that first of all, it will acquire the data that it analyze the data. And finally, uh, we will do the, in, we will create our model. We will design our model, right? Then we test our model and final stage is the deployment, right? So let's see how we can train our model. So here I have created the three different blocks. The first one I named as data for lights on. Okay, so if you see, I have added the natural language processing extension. So when I added a natural language processing, so these are the different uh, uh, blocks that is being added over here. So here you can see add means I want to add certain, uh, you know, class over here. So what I will do, a uh, certain text over there. So actually I am creating a text classifier. Depending upon my text, it will classify it and accordingly it will take the action. 
So here I will add a block, add your text, and I want that text under which class. So here right now I am declaring, I am defining two different classes, lights on and lights off, right? So first of all, like what are the different ways in which a human can give a command to make the lights on? So first thing it will simply say lights on or if the human will say it is too dark here or if it say I want to study, it is too low, it is too dim, I need some sunshine or simply on, that's it. Okay, or turn on the light. So you can add as number of text as you want over here. This uh, will become my training data set. Now similarly, I will create a data set for the class lights off. So here you can see I have added number of texts like lights off, it is too bright here, switch off the light, I want to sleep, I need to rest, light is too bright here, turn off the light or simply off, right? Now this is my final block. The final block is a train data. First of all, if any kind of text classifier is active, I just want to deactivate it, I just want to reset it. So here, first of all, I will put the uh, block reset text classifier then the data for lights off and then the data for lights on and finally to train my model right so i will write train text classifier right so in this way my model will get uh, trained fine so that it can classify the different classes according to the text that i will give it to it now how my sprites will work let's give the functionality to my sprite the toby so what I'm doing when uh, green flag click, first of all, I need to call the train data block. So my model will get trained. Then my sprite will ask what you want me to do. And it will wait for my response. Now, whatever answer I will give, that will go to get class of. So in this way, whatever text I will give, it is able to get the class of it and say that class. So right now only two classes are there, lights on and lights off. So accordingly, my Toby will say, right? Now, what I'm trying to do, now whatever the Toby is saying, accordingly, the action will be performed on this ball, which is right now actually denoting a bull, right? So what I will do for this, first of all, I need to know what is my answer. So if the answer is lights on, so I'm broadcasting a message lights on. And if my answer is lights off, then I'm broadcasting a message lights off, right? Now, what will happen here? The ball will receive that message and accordingly, it will change its costume. Now, if I, if I will show you the costume for the ball, just click on the costume and you can see five different costumes are there. So I have taken first yellow ball, denoting the uh, state where the lights are on and this purple ball denoting the state where the lights are off, right? So let's go back to the blocks and see when green flag click, I want to increase the size of the ball to 300%. And when it receive a message, lights off, then its costume will be ball E, that is purple color. And if it receive a message, lights on, then its costume to be ball A, that is yellow color. Okay, I hope uh, the thing is clear. Let's run it once again. I'm saying I want to sleep lights off and the color has changed to purple. I'm writing, I want to study. So it is saying lights on and the color has changed to yellow. So that's all for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Do more practice. Thanks a lot.